Local News 8 in the morning continues. Welcome back. It is now 6.57. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, a boil order in the Island Park subdivisions of Aspen Ridge, Shotgun and Valley View is still ongoing after more than a month. The DEQ says the water is not safe to drink despite the Island Park Water Company saying it was. The boil order affects some residential areas and not the business districts. Number two, Chad Daybell's jury trial is scheduled to begin April 1st of next year in Ada County. Meanwhile, Lori Vallow's sentencing is scheduled for July 31st in the Fremont County Courthouse. Number three, Pocatello police say they revoked Stepping Stones Preschool and Child Care Center's license last week. They say it is due to an ongoing investigation into the center. Parents are now forced to find other child care options. You can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com or on the Local News 8 app. All right, let's check back in on the weather with Evan. I get, a good, get a good look at the picture for today in terms of our rain showers coverage uh, that we have right now across the region. Rain showers across central Idaho, sunny skies for eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. That's going to be pretty much copy and paste throughout the entirety of today. We're going to have lots of rain wrapped rain showers and thunderstorms all across central Idaho here for the rest of your Monday. Meanwhile, we continue on with the sunny conditions, a full day of sunshine for the Snake for Plain and areas of western Wyoming with highs today also increasing because we have a lot more sunshine, a lot less moisture to form cloud coverage out there for today. 77 is the high and it will fall 79 in Pocatello. And there could be some areas that reach above 80 degrees today. If it doesn't reach above 80 degrees today, it might tomorrow. 83 tomorrow in to on Tuesday for Idaho Falls. The slim chance of rain mainly in the late evening hours tomorrow. And then comes back the rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, possibly into next weekend as well. High temperatures will also decrease, likewise, back down into the mid-70s to wrap up the work week. Even heading into Monday of next week, we're looking at rain chances continuing on. So make the most of today. Get your pickleball in. Dylan, do you have any activities for this afternoon as well? Oh, uh, well, a nap sounds pretty good to me. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was going to go to the Chuckers game on Friday, but it ended up getting rained out. So oh, I was kind of dang. About that. Yeah. That's too bad. Sure. So it's, it's hard to find a Chuckers game where I don't have to get up way early the next morning. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't have very many opportunities. Here. Want to get up there. Yeah, definitely. Well, hey, enjoy your day today. Enjoy these temperatures. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. We'll see you back here at noon for the latest news, weather, and all the updates.